The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Today, we're continuing our River Drums uh, celebration that we had about a week or so ago. And with me is our friend, our best friend, Ken Nolan. Thank you, Patty. How, how do you say thank you in your language? Uh, Tehiju. Tehiju. Hey. Yeah. So, welcome to River Drums. Yes, uh, number 20, what? Twenty twenty three number like six. Six? Huh? I lost <laughs> count. <laughs> so have I. <laughs> okay, now we are going to do looting with you, Mon. I'm going to open up with you, Ken Nolan. Okay with a poem called Two Little Owls. And you'll be able to toot your horn or toot your flute. Okay, we can do that. You went over it already and see what, what if you like it or something? Mm-hmm. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, look at that shirt of yours. Hot dang. Oh, yeah. Friend of mine, uh, Called me up and said, what size shirts do you wear? And I told them, and next thing I know, a couple of weeks later, this showed up in the mail. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to start <laughs> off with is my lyrics that had turned into a song, but I want to do it also with you, Ken Nolan, doing the flute. Okay. So we'll start off, like, right now. Two Little Owls. Written by Patty Hunter, composed, sung by Matt Gerber, was written in March 3rd, 2015. That's a long one. But I'm going to be doing it with R. Kenny. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two little owls sitting in the woods. Sleeping and eating as little owls should. Cute as a button. Both of them are sweet yet strong when seen from afar. Oh, the two little owls are just babies, you see. Just like two little fluff balls. As two little owls. Learning to fly with their mother way up high. Oh, two little owls are just babies, you see. It's like two little duck balls, if you please. But soon they will grow to be 
big and strong. To be kings of the woods to hunt all year round. Oh, the two little owls are just babies, you see. Like two little fluff balls, if you please. That was beautiful. Now, what are you going to do for us, sir? Well, I have a new album just uh, released um, for streaming right now. And I'm uh, process getting all the um, stuff you have to do to get hard copies. But uh, there's uh, eight tracks to it. And this come about from uh, spending uh, six months of surviving COVID and and flew at the same time and then two bouts of pneumonia in the hospital for six days each uh, and losing my voice in the process you don't do anything small do you i go i go full bore it's no sense of doing just halfway and you, you weren't born in texas either no, hmm. no i wasn't no. so it's not a tall yarn <laughs> yarn you all yeah but uh it's uh, a journey of my faith in a story of a musical story of what I believe. And uh, the first one's the uh, Creator Love, uh, Born Ready, and then and While I'm Here, and then the uh, <clears throat> Healing Breath, which uh, I didn't grab the flute. I don't think I really want to do that for you. And uh, in between, because we're suspended in between two worlds as we travel. And uh, always be near, because the Lord always, always, always near, even though when we don't realize it. A, a place of rest, and then I'm going home. But hopefully we all will go home when time is right. Yes. So and shall we so begin? let me grab that one flute and I'll be right back. In the meantime, we're waiting for Ken Nolan to get something. And he should be, should be starting soon. She's back. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to start with the uh, title cut of uh, I'm Going Home. It's kind of uh, evolved into several things going on in my life that brought this song about. So just uh, uh, developed it. It was developing a little bit before I was sick and then it um, finished developing afterwards. So uh, after six months, we uh, have I go home. I'm going home.
Thank you. That was beautiful. <clears throat> of course, I can never forgive my Sandy. And uh, this is a song I wrote for her years ago. Sandy, yeah. And uh, um, playing for her one day, uh, it woke up memories in her Alzheimer's. And uh, she's laying there, face to the wall, and all at once that she hollers at me. I know what that song is. Keep playing it. It's making memories. Turn, and turns over and, and then goes, keep playing, keep playing. So this is Hey Sandy, I Love You. Well done. Thank you. That, spe that speaks volumes, that beautiful flute. Both oh. brings out this gentleness on a human being. Yes, this is a, it's a nice playing instrument. This one is the healing breath and the uh, Neat thing about, I had this specially made to play at the cancer center, and then oh. COVID happened, I never mm. got to play it. But now I play it at the um, hospice center. And uh, see if I can remember this. <laughs> nice for each individual music that's on your new cd what's it called again the new cd it's uh, going home going home that sounds mm -hmm. good and uh there you are <laughs> yeah <laughs> that is beautiful well, thank i am you. so glad you're on my show with river drums because we do love you what's love your next you. one oh uh i think i'll go back in time okay babe go back to um uh, uh 
when uh, I had a song that was uh, uh, nominated for solo flute song of the year and uh, got a nomination. <laughs> and that uh, crazy flute guy just kicked the doors down. So, uh, oh, my stars. Guy. But uh, this is uh, My Soul Takes Eagle Swings. Wow, I took a long breath out of you, man. Yeah, couldn't have done that too long ago. <laughs> oh. I knew, no, I uh, keep on disappearing on me. <laughs> oh, they were reaching over. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I thought they were oh. closer. Each individual music, uh, songs that you have done on your new CD. Mm hmm. How long are they each? Two, three minutes? Uh, probably average about maybe two and a half minutes if you take them all. It's, you know, some's a little shorter, some's a little longer. Probably the run times, you know, uh, figures out about two and a half. Do you write the music? Yes. Or is it from the heart? Well, it is from my heart. That some, you know, like uh, the going home. I wrote that one out just because it was really uh, meaningful. I wanted to be just right for the situation. You know. But uh, the others, uh, I have the song idea of what I want to do. Uh, I have a title in mind or something, what the song's about. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll let the spirit guide me in uh, what to do a lot of times because I've found if I try to write them out and follow them as it's wrote out they don't okay. work yeah anything from the heart it doesn't need to be charted yeah. down yeah and I can't give the emotion that I want in my pieces of music that if I am trying to really hold to a strict structure oh hmm. Is that the way a lot of uh, Native Americans play their flute from mm -hmm. the heart? Not by structure? Yeah. Well, there, 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 there is songs that are, are um, you know, uh, like the rabbit song. That That's the song handed down for generations about how the rabbits saved the uh, Lakota people. Mm -hmm. um, in uh, you got uh, several other uh, songs that's uh, uh, handed down, you know, so that you know it, it's kind of a 50 50 probably. 
and uh, I, I can, uh, I play, you know, I can do them, but it's, um, it's hard to try to, with the timings and everything to yeah. kind of, I'll feel something and, but I can't do it because I need to stay, stay with particular music. There's some I need to memorize real solid, but you know, it's a, it's a work in progress. <laughs> Let's do another song. Okay. What's your favorite of the whole track? Track. <laughs> no. Uh, well, well, it was um, going home. Was going home. Uh, let's see if I can remember. Uh, just finish in a minute, then you go back and you try to put them in memory. Sometimes it's in there, and other times it's floating around. To see this one starts. Uh, remember right. And with that, we end with that beautiful, what's it called? Uh, Melody probably is what she call it, song. It's, a, you know, whichever you want, whatever it, makes you happy. <laughs> that to me is a gentle love song to the world. And we would like to thank you again, Ken, for coming on River Drums and performing for us. We love you. Ken oh, Dillon. Thank you. Such a privilege. I am. I'm honored. We are honored to have you. Be well. Yep. Okay. Um, we got a couple more minutes, so we make this a whole half hour for mm -hmm. my show. So another five minutes. So what are you, what, what are you up to now? Um, 180. <laughs> Gasp. Um, 
Oh, um. Well, at least we it, have you on. Hello, what you? Yeah. Huh? Let's um. Uh, this is one of the first story uh, songs I uh, recorded. Mm -hmm. It's uh, called Seaside Shells. Oh. And uh, I was on the beach in uh, um, Oregon, and there were shells uh, washed up on the bank, and there was two of them laying there. And uh, one of them was a complete shell, not just half shell. And I looked at that, and you know, these things go through your mind. And I thought, I wonder what kind of story they could tell. This is seaside shells. Yeah. that we say goodbye and see you next week thank you ken thank you patty and no one god speed my love until we meet again you're always in my heart and every dream don't let this time Us always for the rest of our lives.